say that uh, I think sometimes we sound uh, kind of not very nice to say it was a great basketball game when your side is the winning side but um, I thought it was a heck of a basketball game during the course of the game I said it several times um, everybody who played played well everybody who played had a, a play at some point in the game that they made that helped us you know win a ball game uh, you know technically the in my in my opinion the, the offensive rebounds cost us uh, they got a lot of extra chances uh, to, to shoot threes uh, they got real aggressive in getting in the paint, and then, uh, you know, and, and the pick and roll was a little problem there for a while. They scored 11 out of 13 times, uh, and the two they didn't in that stretch in the fourth quarter were both offensive fouls. So, uh, but I thought we, we hung together, we executed, we executed at the end. We got stuff that we were looking for. I think it's a great experience for our young guys. Uh, it was great to see Zach got off to a quick start, was fully lathered up and ready to go. Um, and then, like I said, everybody had a play or, or five or six minutes where uh, they played really well to help us win tonight. Coach, twice now this season, De'Aaron has hit a game-winning shot twice now tonight. Um, he's hit a shot to send it to overtime. Just Is that part of putting the ball in his hands in those situations? Is that just part of you allowing him to evolve, or do you already as a rookie have that much faith in him? Uh, both. You know, it's different guys on different nights and, and different situations, what you're, uh, what you're looking for. And, uh, you know, tonight I thought... You know, he was able to get to get to his left um, and create a decision by making a couple of pull-up jumpers. Um, so you know, I think we got him got him some space, and he made he made a terrific play. And they sent about three guys over there. I didn't know if he was going to get it blocked or not, but a uh, heck of a play. And uh, you know, I thought he did a good job running that running the team. Uh, Dragic is you know we knew or felt like uh, he had to put up a big number for them tonight, and uh, and he did. And he was aggressive. He's a tough cover. Uh, certainly Wayne Ellington running around shooting. He got up 17 threes. That's that. Can you imagine? It would take me three months to get up 17 threes. So, uh, me personally. When that uh, started going the other way in the fourth, um, you obviously, you know, you got to kind of see your guys kind of close that quarter out the right way. What did you just see out of them? To, and then they're kind of the resilience that they had to kind of close it out. In the in the fourth quarter. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I mean, I was also waiting to, to try to finish the game with with a certain uh, couple of guys. Um, uh, and they they got the, they found the guys that they were very comfortable with and found a rhythm. Um, you know they scored a bunch of points there uh, in the second half, but it's particularly in the fourth quarter. So we got enough stops uh, at the end. We kind of turned it off a little bit. Uh, the slip pick and roll that they were running, uh, we got a couple stops on that, and and, uh, and then we started you know making some shots also. But the biggest thing was you know trying to keep them off the glass when we gave them too many extra chances. Coach Bogdanovich had that big three late too. Um, how nice is it to have guys who are willing to take those big shots and are confident? Yeah, it was, it was fantastic. You know, it's, it can be difficult. You know, every dude is looking at you with some puppy dog eyes going, yeah, give it to me, Let, run this play for me, you know, coming down the stretch. And, and uh, I felt like he hadn't they were trying to get uh, intentional about bringing it to him because we we're trying to play it through Zach, we're trying to play it through De'Aaron. So it wasn't like, you know, here's some charity. It was, you know, how do we how do we help him? He can he can do some things and really make some plays. And, uh, that was a terrific shot. You know, I was telling him to drive it, and he uh, he had the space, and he got a great look, and it was it was pretty. Coach, how would you uh, sort of classify Buddy's development this season? Not just tonight, but in general. Uh, I know he's been working specifically on his defense. Um, how would you say he's developed this? It's you know, it's an ongoing work in progress. Um, you know, some nights are better than others. You know, tough night in Oklahoma City the other night, and you know so. You know, you, you uh, just try to even out your even out your play, and, and I try to reward him for playing the right way with um, more minutes, and uh, try to make points to him in other ways uh, when it's not that way. But uh, he made some shots, and, and still makes some tough plays. You kind of scratch your head, but then he can go make uh, some shots and some plays where other people just can't make. And you know, and scoring the basketball is a talent. Um, the other part of it is is the same thing with Wayne Ellington. But you have a guy that is, puts that much pressure on your defense, you don't want to leave him, that means other people get open just by him being on the court. So um, he's learning and he's, he's getting better. I thought he's bodying people and, and doing a better job defensively, and, and his experience is going up, and I think that always helps. That's it. All right, thanks. Good